And um, anything else you want to say? Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting our roller derby league. This is something that we're all nuts and passionate about, but the fact that you are tuning in and watching us do this crazy little sport on eight wheels is phenomenal. Keep supporting us. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mel, yep. and good luck. Thank you. In their huddles, so we need to get them out here, get them ready to get their names shouted out right here at the Olorama. All right, so. Go ahead. You want to go first? No, you go. So we're going to announce a special conjoined team. The Deadly Pains will go first. We got any Deadly Pains fans here tonight? That's good. They're brand new. So skating tonight for the Deadly Pains. And the, the first group will be Sirens number two. Rampage! Number five, Ankle Biter! Number six, Monster Meadow! Number seven, Dizzy Aster! Number 48, T-Bone Trina! Number 455, Dizzy's cousin, Dottie Disaster. We'll get to coaches here in a second. From the pains, we have number three, Nikki Necrosis. Number 97, Maven Mayhem. Number 16, Beck and Call. Number 17, Jabby DeVito. Number 79, Red Menace. Number 81, Texanate Her. Number 91, Tinker Hell. Number 98, Pebbles. Number 241, Jalapeno Business. Number 247, Mel Breakdown. And coaching the Deadly Pains tonight, Sally Jackson and Coach Knox. Give it up for the Deadly Pains. This thing's falling off my head the entire time. And a group photo before you go out and roll your wheels. Up next, the Sheilas and... All right, everybody. It is time for the Sheilas. Number 21, Anita Hurtcha. Number eight, Baby Buster. Number 86, Black Mamba. Number 43, Cherry Violence. Number 10, Cleo Smasha. Number 61, Dopamine. Number 42, Electrocute. Number 80, Gym Annihilation. Number 35, Ginger Ninja. Number 18, Mel Malice. Number 
Number 41, Old Dusty Myers. Number 48, Hark and Wreck. Number 27, Skate Spear. And number zero, Zombina. That will do for the Sheilas. Picture. We should get an after. So this is for third place. Is that what's happening yes. here, Luke? Yep. Can I call you coach? Always the coach. Entirety Always coach. Of the broadcast. Coach! Uh, Game two is about to get underway for that third place. Is it going to be the Deadly Pains? Nobody? Nobody at all. Or is it gonna be the Sheilas? You know, you would think with two teams mashed together, it would bring together two fan bases, but maybe they're so angry at each other, they have trouble rooting I, for I, half of their team. I, I agree. I think that, that purple and green, I think there's a little animosity. And it looks like, Bacon, we're gonna get underway here with game two. Rampage jamming against Electrocute. And it's going slow. You got a very solid wall with the Sheilas. With Baby Buster leading that middle pack. Tiny but mighty is Buster. But it looks like we've got Electrocute with lead jammer for the Sheilas. That floor is looking a little slick tonight. But it looks like we got a big call off from the Sheilas and that will do it for Jam 1. First blood going to the Sheilas to the tune of three points. Bacon, we haven't seen a lot of carnage yet. I'm well, a little it's, it's, disappointed. It's been 58 seconds, so there's a limit. If you got it all in the first jam, this would get, uh, they'd thin out real quick because we already had to jam two teams together sideways Absolutely. to make one deadly painish team. We are on to jam two. Mel Malice jamming for the Sheilas against Dizzy Aster for the deadly pains. Dizzy falls down, but right back at it. Dizzy's done a great job this year switching from the WFTDA rule set to the USARS rule set. It's a Mel little Malice bit faster takes lead here. jammer while we're at it. And it looks like we got Mel Malice as lead jammer for your Sheilas. Again, Bacon, it looks like that floor is going to come into, uh, into hand tonight with a little slick. We went the call off from Mel to end the jam for jam number two. It was Jammy DeVito on the pivot turn there. Which is, I would say, is probably the biggest difference between this and WFTDA rules. 100%. The that pivot turn? Correct. It's, it's nice to have the ability to, if your jammer gets caught up in the back, it, it, it's nice to have that pivot up front that can, can, can go when the, when the other point scorer has broke through. And we're on to jam three. Electrocute back on the jam line against T-Bone Trina. And a whole mess of skaters falling down. Electrocute's been another one of those standout jammers this year. Being able to go almost back to back. And like I said, once again, we've got Electrocute as your lead jammer for the Sheilas. Anita Hurts are doing a nice job holding back pebbles before Fan she could take that turn. 100%. Fantastic wall with Ginger, Buster, and Anita there. Big pile up there. It looks like Electric U gets through with no big problem. And the call off, which will do it for jam number three, 
Once again, Electric Q getting all the way through with some big points to put on that board, Bacon. Big points. So four apiece, nothing gained by either team on that jam. Rampage will be on the jam line. Bacon, that's why it's so incredibly important to listen to your coaches on the sideline um, and not try to be that hero <laughs> and get those extra points. It's really hard to tell when you're jamming out there because your job is to score all the points, but when you have the ability to call it off and get one, it's better than going for a 4-4. Four -four. Well, it's a lot to keep track of, right? 100%. I mean, I know 100%. announcing we have like 18 things going on at once. Also, that's Mel Malice on the jam line. Not on the jam line, she's jamming. She was on the jam line. And it looks like Sheila's are going to do that back-to-back -back deal, but... Rampage taking lead jammer for the Deadly Pain. And that would be Black Mamba taking the pivot turn right on Rampage's heel. Can she skate? Buster needs to kick it into high gear. Black Mamba's right on Rampage's heels as we lead into that pack. However, a big call up by Rampage, but Bacon. Did Mamba grab a point there at the end? It does not look like it. However, it was a nice block by the jammer Mel Malice to hold uh, to hold the jammer off to yep. give uh, Mamba time to get there, forcing are, that call off. You are exactly right. That's why it's so incredibly important to be able to switch from that jammer rotation to that blocking line if you are unable to get out. So here we go with the next jam. Once again, it looks like Electric is back there on the line for the Sheilas with Dizzy Aster for the Deadly Pains. And Electric goes down, giving the Deadly Pains a little advantage. 91 going to the box. That would be Tinker Hell. We definitely got those pivots up there, jockeying for position, wondering who on which team is going to get out for those point scores. That is great blocking by the siren line after their jammer fell down to uh, keep Dizzy contained. They're definitely doing a great job, finally, about containment on the Sheilas. The deadly sirens are doing a fantastic job on that front. Electrocute swings herself around. Ginger Ninja, can she get out? I don't think we've had a lead jammer this Entire Nope, we jam. do not currently have a lead jammer. So this is more like fitness skating. All right. We've got a big battle up front right now, but it looks like we finally have a lead jammer. Electrocute from the Sheilas. I don't think she'll have enough time to get points because nope. there's nine seconds left. And this is where it becomes strategic, especially if they're going to continue to run back to back between her and Mel for point scoring. You're going to want that, that rest, but she was able to get back up there. Did she score a point? Four. Four wow. points. Four big points for the Sheilas. We have Mel Malice jamming against T-Bone Trina. Tinker Hell still in the box. So it was a four on three pack advantage for the Sheilas. They are not taking advantage. Yes, they are because Mel Malice, lead jammer for the Sheilas. And not without saying a massive block from Black Mamba to help her jammer get out there and get lead. And Mel calls it off just as Tinkerhell's coming out of the box. So we will have full packs for both teams on this next jam. One? Only the one? The Sheilas have definitely done a great job with containment. Mel uh, Malice called that from, off after getting one point. It's better than one and done. That, well, four and four. It's better than none and done, I suppose. You can't none and done in this. I think I need a higher vantage point. <laughs> Which is different than saying I need to be high. That's a totally different thing. So we have Anita Hercha jamming against Rampage. 
Full packs for both teams. Ginger and Myers leading that front, putting down some good containment for the Sheilas. It's getting pretty fast, it looks like. We do have a lead jammer, Anita Hercha from the Sheilas. Taxinator was on the pivot turn and has to stop. So, oh. And Anita calls it off, despite no one from the Paines being in scoring position. Is there some nuance there I'm not familiar with? Not at all. Honestly, it was kind of hard to see past those refs getting so tired in the front, but they're doing a great job. Yeah, we need Couldn't these see refs the always getting in the way. Getting, fellas and ladies, people. The Sheilas have definitely put quite a bit of points up there, but the Deadly Sirens are not done yet. It looks like we've got... That's Mel Malice jamming and Dizzy Aster. Mel Malice and Dizzy fighting for that point scoring position up front. Who's it gonna be? Oh, both jammers get out simultaneously, but Mel Malice has the lead. It looks like Mel Malice has lead jammer. However, that can change with Dizzy Aster right behind her. Mel Malice doing a fantastic job listening to her coaches and calling it up before Dizzy can make it back around. I feel like Luke, the announcer, has an agenda for Luke, the coach. No, not at all. I don't want to no. give away anything. <laughs> We've got a timeout for the Deadly Pains. I mean, let's be real. Do skaters actually listen to their coaches? Absolutely not. In my experience. Bacon, I continue to wonder why we get invited back to announce. It wasn't really an invitation. They, they had my dog hostage. All right, so this is Gem Annihilation jamming for Once the again, Sheilas. A fantastic wall there up front with Buster, Myers, and Ginger Ninja with Anita leading that front as the pivot. Buster holding back T-Bone Trina as well as she is able. Bacon, we still don't have a point score. There's two fantastic walls up there leading the pack. Big pile up over here with Ginger and Buster. Myers. But it looks like we finally have that lead jammer! With Timo Trino! It's taken oh. over by Anita Hercha almost immediately, taking and the pivot turn. And that's what turn. is important about, about this rule set, is that point score lead can change, and Anita has the ability to call it off, and she does. A little late. Nice job, T-Bone, getting that work done for those deadly pains. Both teams have definitely switched up that jammer rotation lately. We did see at the beginning with the Sheilas, going every other with Mel. And Electrocute? And Electrocute. <laughs> Not a lot of penalties tonight, so the penalty box has been pretty empty. It's empty right now. You know, they're, they're, giving all the, they're, they're holding back all the penalties now, so when the bashers and the lethals play, oh, that's yeah. when we're gonna see the penalties. I need to be louder. We've got Tax and Mamba up front, leading those walls. Great teamwork by both teams right now, pretty fast. Faster than we've seen a lot of these jams. However, we have Mel Malice as lead jammer. That lead could change. Well, Taxinator's right on her heels. And they're going to call that almost immediately as Mel Malice gets one last hit after the whistle. A little fall down. We don't want to call that a hit. No. We don't need any trouble happening after the game, do we? 
Come on, Bacon. It's a little West Side Story here in Independence at the Olorama. The old Independence. As we were rolling in, I saw some quite interesting folks walking the street. Someone was trying to kill themselves on Nolan Road <laughs> on a bicycle. It was old wild. Nolan. All right. And Electric here we cute. go. Oh, jamming against Jeremy DeVito. Electric Q once again back on that jammer line for the Sheilas. Good defense up front with Myers. Big hit. I sure would love to see old Myers get out of that pack as that pivot. We just call her Myers. <laughs> well, you're going to get your wish because here comes Myers. On the pivot turn. With Jimmy DeVito up front, it looks like we could see. And Myers gets knocked oh, out of Myers bounds. Myers gets knocked out. By Jammy. While Electrocute. I heard that whistle, but I don't see anybody going to the box. We kind of jinxed it there. It's that announcer jinx with the. Uh, you did that, Luke. With penalties starting to fly. Meyer. Dizzy up front creating a fantastic wall against Myers. But Myers is out, scores points, and calls it off. Four, one. I don't think your microphone's working at all. No, I don't think it is either, but here, we'll try this out. Shout out to Ryan Como for... There it is, I hear it. Oh, there it is. I just need to yell louder. Signage that everyone loves. Can you hear that? Do I just need to scream into the mic? And, and we're back. Mel Malice jamming its Pebbles. This is Pebbles' first jam. This is definitely Pebbles' first jam. She did down the pivot cover earlier, but now she is definitely a force to be reckoned with. A fantastic blocker. And there it is, Pebbles as your lead jammer for the Deadly Pains. Mel Malice got recycled back into the pack, so we had a pivot turn. There for Dopamine. She gets her four points, calls it off, Pebbles. 26 to 16. Wait, 21 point. I missed one. 27 16. Sheila's over pains. Bacon, that's what I love about this rule set is the points can really be close together, so it, you never know who could take home that third place tonight. It's truly the question of our age. Sheila's 27, Payne's 16. Electrocute jamming against Rampage. Rampage knocked out of bounds, but right back in. Electrocute taking the outside. Can she make it through? And she does. Lead jammer. Taxinator on the pivot turn right behind her. They were skating in unison there for a second. Ginger's back there in the back hunting. Pushing Tax to the inside. Buster recycles. Rampage is giving us jazz hands for some reason. I'm as confused as her teammates. A big call off from Electrocute there to take us to the next jam. Because it makes sense. Three to two, Sheila, so at one point added to the lead. 12 point lead for the Sheilas. 12 and a half minutes to play in game two. Championship triple header. The Deadly Sirens definitely the... keep cutting down that point spread. The Sheilas fought pretty hard at the beginning, but we're definitely seeing those Deadly Sirens starting to catch up. And that's where it's incredibly important to, at times, not utilize that every other jammer rotation. Sometimes you need a break. Mamba uh, is about to be on the pivot turn. And she is chasing down Jamie DeVito, who is just jamming. 
It's a lot of jam. Big battle up front here for lead point score. As Mamba takes over, heads into the pack. Scores points and calls Yoshi, it off. One point. One point. So 31 to 18, 13 point lead for the Sheilas. 11 and a half. We have an official review or just a timeout. I don't know if they're reviewing things or timing out. Perhaps someone will come tell us what's happening. Off or not. Okay. Um, they determined that it was not a legal call-off. She went out of bounds before she touched her hips a second time. So she still awarded her point, but she gets a penalty for illegal call-off, so she's still in the box. Love it. Does that make sense? It does. All right, I'm going to paraphrase here. Uh, the jammer for the Sheilas, uh, they challenged whether... The jammer for the Sheilas uh, has been charged with an illegal call-off as she left the track and did not establish herself before the second time she did the call-off signal. Therefore, her point will stand, but she's going to the box for her malfeasance. Fantastic assessment I don't there. see anyone in the box, however. Uh, wait, they're going to come tell me something uh, else. Uh, How wrong was I? They challenged the illegal call-off, yes. and they won. Yes. So they retained their time. They retained their time out. Oh, all right. They also retained. It's like the NFL. If you challenge it correctly, you get to keep a challenge. One of many ways this is like professional football. And <laughs> with that being said, we've got lead jammer by Mayhem Myers, up. number 41, from the Sheilas. T-Bone Trina right behind her. Can, My can Myers call it off? She calls it off. Does she do it? Before T-Bone Trina scores points. We leave it in the hands of our ref crew. One apiece. One point each. So nothing ventured, nothing gained. 12 point lead with seven and a half minutes to play. Nothing gained, but lots of efforts by Tivo, Trina, and Myers. But Mel Malice will be on the line against Rampage. Two fantastic jammers on the line this season. Definitely put in some work but also great blockers if their pivots need to turn into those point scores. There's a four on three pack. Nope, the packs are now even. And it looks like we have Mel Malice as your lead jammer for the Sheilas. Taxinator on the pivot turn right behind her. This is once again where it's gonna be important for a big call off. Great hit by Mel Malice there to force Tax to the inside to attempt for that no points from Tax. Does, does she get no points? It was awfully close. One, yes, one nothing. It looks like Mel did a fantastic job by forcing Tax off to the inside to score that one point and holding the what's deadly up, sirens to zero. That's Casey Derby Digest that just got the what's up, buddy. You can Did find you his know, work Bacon, everywhere. Find Derby Digests are sold. That he put tape on his uh, light stands here because I continually run into them and almost break thousands of dollars worth of technology. You should stop doing that. Mel Malice! No, Electrocute! I don't know where Mel Malice is. Electrocute lead jammer for the Sheilas. I got caught up in equipment speak and lost my mind. Bacon, is that Nikki? Is that Nikki point scoring? Does she get points there for the Deadly Sirens? Deadly Pains. Did Nikki score points? You asked me to see things. That's not a good idea. That's there, not, Nikki. yes. Looks like. It looks like something happened. Why didn't they go with Royal Sirens? Good question. Thank you. No, there is no answer. All right. And, and that's why you should be paid. Can't see. <laughs> Reftacular, an excellent door. Not so much a window. Mel Malice on the jam line against T-Bone Trina. T-Bone and Mel Malice once again on that jammer line. Big battle there in the back. Mel being forced to the outside. Much slower pack this time, attempting to keep Mel back. Mel could take over lead, but attempting to ensure that that pivot is held back so they can't be a point score. Mamba fighting in the front. 
It's not working. They're just going real slow. Fitness skating. Baby and it Buster. looks like Mel's gonna take off for that lead jammer for the Sheilas. Mama's doing a fantastic job up there up front for the Sheilas, holding back that pivot. However, she breaks out. Mel Malice calling out instructions to her pack. Pebbles trying to catch up, has a ways to go. And Mel Malice calls it off, but not before. Zombina and Baby Buster with two big blocks to the outside to help Mel get through and score those big points. That's a four point pass for the Sheilas. 39 26, under four minutes to play. Electrocute will be on the jam line against Rampage. Penalty box is empty. A little bit of confusion from that Sheila's lineup. Unfortunately, she will have to return back to her bench, so that will mean the Sheilas are short for this jam. And am I right in saying, Bacon, here, we do not have a pivot up front for the Sheilas? No, we do. That would be Anita Hurtcha. Anita is. She's got the pivot stripe. You are correct, Bacon. We I do, do my have best. a pivot up there up front. See, you are my eyes and my love and, and my your friends. heart. Yes. The very soul. Electrocute being held by Rampage, who's being held by Ginger Ninja. This has been a fantastic blocking lineup here, Bacon, with Anita and Myers and Ginger as a solid wall. They decide that it's time, and Electrocute takes lead jammer for the Sheilas. Only 30 seconds left in the jam. Can she catch the pack? Oh, 100%. Electrocute has put in fantastic work this year. She's a great skater. There's no way that she wouldn't be able to score points. However, looks no a little tired. No way, you say. That's okay. Electrocute has put in a lot of work today. And gets through, calls it off. Uh, a four-point pass. So Electrocute gets in, gets out. Should take the lead to 17 points. Under two minutes to play. There is no two-minute warning. Not at all. In Van roller derby. Still a fantastic amount of time here to... It's a close game. I mean, these rules do oh, keep 100%. it close. The Deadly Pains are still keeping it in there. They've, they've done a fantastic job keeping it together. That'll be Jammy DeVito jamming for the Deadly Pains. Mel pretty Malice. Menace, pretty menacing lineup there, Bacon up front. However, Mamba the Pivot is going to be able to go immediately. So Jammy DeVito being trailed by Mamba. Once again, this is what I love about this rule set. That point score and lead can change at any second. Mamba through, big call off. Two points, two more points picked up. No, I'm sorry, that's two for the Pains, four for the Sheilas. So a two point swing, it is now 47 28. 19 point lead for the Sheilas. This will most likely be our last jam of the first half. Nice job by Jamie there for sure, Bacon, heading to the inside, try to score some extra points and not letting Mamba go 4 0 on her. Fantastic work. We're going to close out this half with Electrocute jamming against T-Bone Trina. Full packs for both teams. 30 seconds left in the half. Big and pile up over here with Buster and Anita. Definitely holding down that line up front. Lots of hard work there, Bacon. Going down with the Sheila Jammer and the Deadly Pain Jammer. We're definitely having a hard time getting out of the pack this time. This last jam of the first half. They're just trying to keep it going as long as possible. 
Bacon, this is where communication really comes into point. You can definitely tell the the Deadly Pains were having a hard time at the beginning with communication. Now they're just killing it with great teamwork, which is why they're keeping it together. Well, it's hard to jam two teams together Somebody. at the very end of the season. So kudos to them. 17 seconds left in the jam. And the half. Not much time left. N no one's in charge. Big Everybody time. take a break. <laughs> Looks and like that'll bring the half to a close. They were already ready for that rest, ready to go into halftime. The Deadly Pains will get it together, come back out with some good strategy, and see what they can do against the Sheilas. That's very important. 19 point lead for the Sheilas. We'll be back in 15 minutes. Hi, uh, Actual Moose here, and I'm here with Uniscorn, who uh, was the MVP in the zombie game. That was before this one that's uh, halftime in right now. Um, so how does it feel to be the MVP? I, I was out there playing with you, and I saw you doing awesome things. Uh, I think everyone who talks about roller derby usually mentions Jamnesia, Jamnesia and that's definitely true because I remember absolutely nothing that happened out there and in fact did not recognize my name being called when they said that I had won the award. So you know what? I would say that that's the power of uh, keeping, your, keeping yourself, you know, humble. Keeping yourself humble in the face of everyone trying to lift you up, but you know, stay humble. Well, luckily we have a recording, so we can fix your we can fix your jamnesia. Um, but you are also um, one of our wonderful photographers, and you are oh, tons of batteries. Um, and you are also doing a fundraiser, a pet portrait fundraiser for the travel team, right? Yep. Uh, tomorrow, uh, one of our league members is kindly up offering up her. Uh, place of business for us to have some pet portraits. It's the third time that we've done these. People bring in their pets, we take portraits of them. Um, it's actually a really nice setup. We've got like, your dog gets to be the star of the show, and you know what, if you feel like you need to be in them, you of course can join. Um, last year we had uh, some people dress up in costumes that matched their doggies. And it's precious. It's genuinely precious. Plus, you get to show off your animals, and you get to help support our travel team. So, um, information, I believe, for where you can sign up. We still have a couple of spots left, and this is tomorrow afternoon. Um, we still have a couple of spots left, and I believe that information about that is going to be put in the uh, Yes, uh, we'll be posting that in the chat. But um, one of the great things about this is that not only do you get super cute portraits and you're helping travel team, but this is one thing that we only do one time a year. So if you want these super cute portraits, this is really kind of your only chance to get it. So if you don't do it now, you have to wait until next year. And I can vouch that Uniscorn is an amazing photographer. You not should, just you should, Derby. Not just Derby, okay. everything. <laughs> everything. Right. That well, sounded bad. Every, uh, maybe not everything. I will not take pictures of deep sea stuff. That really just... I have a fear of deep sea things, so you know what? I'm not going to the Titanic for you. <laughs> All right, well, thank you, Uniscore. <laughs> We're gonna get back with a quickness. Four seconds gone. We've got Mel Malice jamming against T-Bone Trina. Big fight through those walls for Mel and T-Bone. You do have the pivots for both teams up there hunting for position. Too early to run out the clock. We need some action. Mel Malice takes lead jammer. Pebbles, Pebbles right, right behind, behind her. her. That's what I said. And that's why we're bros. We're always on the same page there, Bacon, Woo! as they enter the pack. I don't know that she could call. She tried. Mel Malice attempted to call it off, but Pebbles flying through, taking over Lee Jammer. Now she calls it off. 
And that is one fantastic way to start the second period of this game. Second half of the second game of Championship Saturday. The Deadly Pains getting four points, Sheila's three, so one point chipped off of that lead. 18 points, someone running onto the track. No one serious. Rampage jamming against Electrocute. One, Sheila in the box. Four on three, pack advantage for the Deadly Pains. Once again, Bacon, you've got Anita. Myers and Ginger up there up front for the Sheila's big wall, big fierce wall all the way through the season. They definitely put some hurt on us at the beginning of the season for the Bashers. Great job by the Sheila's. Myers big knockout to the inside. However, you have Electrocute on the outside for your lead jammer for the Sheila's. Taxinator taking the pivot turn right behind her buster. No, that's Myers. I don't know how I could possibly confuse them, but I do. Yeah, I'm not sure you had to do that, but one I... of the same. Big call off. Nice job by the Sheila's big points on the board. One point back to a 19 point advantage for the Sheila's. Penalty boxes are empty. Continues to be empty. This has probably been one of the biggest games that I've ever seen this season, Bacon, with such minimal penalties. Nice job by both teams. Super, let's wait till they get tired. <laughs> Jammy DeVito. Bacon, Jammy's really put in some work for the Deadly Pains this game. Nice job, fantastic, fierce, great work. Mel Malice being held by Tinkerhell and then knocked out of bounds by Beck and Call. Still no lead. Good battle, however, once again, we have Mel Malice as your lead jammer for the Sheilas. The Deadly Pains pack, it slowed down. Can Mel does not call it off, so. Nikki, great fight as she leads into the pack for those Deadly Pains. However, I said it too soon. Dizzy Asser headed to the box for those Deadly Pains. I don't think your mic's working again. I haven't really been talking to it much. Despite all of that, Sheila's picking up four points, taking it up to a 23-point advantage with 25-plus to play. The action does not stop. Electrocute will be on the line against Pebbles. Bacon, it looks like we've had a little bit of adjustment tonight with the Deadly Pains putting Pebbles on the line a little bit more against that big heavy rotation from the Sheilas with uh, with Mel and Electric Cube. But once again, we got Anita, Myers, and Ginger with the big wall up front. That would be Buster, Myers, Ginger, yeah, see you better. and Anita. I got you, Ben. But still no lead. Both pivots in the front, waiting for something Ooh. to happen, Pebbles with a hit on Buster. And that's what we need, because Electrocute makes it through, takes lead jammer for the Sheilas. Fantastic job by the Sheilas, holding both the pivot and the jammer back, so there is no point score out yet for those deadly pains. And as we speak too soon, the deadly pains have released they are pivot Trina. out for point scoring position as Electrocute heads into the pack, scores some points. Right. And the call off for the Sheilas. So the Sheilas picking up two points there. Just 
as the clock ticks off. The Pains need to cut into that lead. They will send Rampage to the line against Mel Malice. That would be Rampage on the line against Mel Malice. Penalty box still empty. I'm rubbing off on you here, Bacon. We're just making up names as we go. I... Been here for 25 minutes. It's, <laughs> I'll, I'll pick it up slowly. Mamba and Taxinator on the pivot for each team. Mamba doing great work up there up front. However, that is Mel Malice as your lead jammer with a huge assist by Black Mamba. However, Rampage is out and doing a big fight to catch up there with Mel. The packs are starting to get back together, slowing it down just a little bit as Mel leads in, scores the points, and calls it off for the Sheilas. So another two points picked up there by Mel. You know, Bacon, I hope that they wipe down these mics on this headset because I have spit all over this thing. Is that a good, like, hock to a thing? That's professionalism from the staff here. I'm not sure what it is I'm allergic to. I hope it's not the headset, but something's definitely gone wrong. 27-point lead for the Sheilas. Electrocute jamming against Jammy DeVito. The Sheilas are trying to keep it fast up front with Myers, Ginger, and Anita. It's a three on four pack advantage of the Black Mamba in the box, although she is about to exit. Mamba knows the rules like the back of her hand. We'll see what she does if she's either gonna stay there and chill and let them run up front with the Sheilas, or if she's gonna re-enter. As expected, Mamba with that great derby brain. Staying there in the box for all of you newbies here. She's going to hang out, ensure that her team stays up front and can keep it fast. However, the Deadly Pains are attempting to force somebody out and catch that person. And is that because her exiting would mess up the pack definition? 100%. Electrocute up front with your lead. Not much time to go in this jam. Big wall by the Deadly Pains in the back. They finally contain somebody. And that will do it for that jam. So all of that for one point. Nice work by the Sheilas with that containment. Once again, great job by Mamba holding it back out there. In so, that penalty box with that great derby brain of hers. Slowly stretching this lead out. 28 points now with just under 21 to play. Pebbles will be jamming against Mel Malice. You know, Bacon, that was a fantastic job by the Sheilas. Uh, Mamba chilling in the box. And then can go right back out there and play the next jam. Fantastic, fantastic work. However, finally by the Deadly Pains, we got Pebbles as your lead jammer. Black Mamba on the pivot turn. Can she catch Pebbles? Can the pack stay together? Great Halfway block. through the jam. Mel Malice tries a block on Pebbles. It does not work, but she is allowed to reset. Pebbles calling it off. Oh boy, Bacon, that was close to my Pebbles, but she made it in time. So two points. The Pains finally chip back time into that out lead. And to the Sheilas. Sheilas have had enough. They need to regroup. Little wiggle and jiggle out there by Pippi, arguing with the refs. Ooh, I got the side eye. Is that a, oh, is that a technical term, a wiggle and a jiggle? Wiggle and a jiggle and then a wee-woo, wee-woo. 
wigglin' and a jigglin' here at Olorama in historic Independence, Missouri. It's known for many things. It's former home of Showbiz Pizza. There was a venture on the corner many years ago. God, it's so uncomfortable. Good old Independence there, Bacon. All right, Baby Buster making her way back onto the track for some reason. Bacon, do you think that Baby Buster should at least make a, a jam at least once? Make a jam? Yeah, As I in, like, she, be she, a jammer? be a point scorer, yeah, totally. Absolutely not, under no <laughs> circumstances. All right, that's Rampage jamming, being held back by Mayhem Myers, or just Myers. Some things die hard. Old Dusty. But not Anita Hercha. She takes lead jammer for the Sheilas. Nice work once again by the she Sheilas up front, forcing the other skater to the inside. Once again, that's what I love about this rule set is you cannot skate backwards to re-enter the pack. There's a life lesson there. Big fights. We still got Anita up front. We finally have somebody break out that for would be, the Deadly Pains. That would be Rampage. Can Anita score any points as Ginger Ninja takes a knee? One of the biggest jams of the night by Anita Hurtia from the Sheilas. That's a six point jam. That's the biggest jam of the night as far as I know. Which is incredibly impressive, Bacon, because most of the time you have at least two to three jams in the first half where skaters are making it through, but not tonight. This has been a fantastic game. Solid defense by both teams. Although now a 32-point lead for the Sheilas with just over 17 to play. Jammy DeVito, Jammy against Mel Malice. Mel Malice doing a fantastic job holding Jammy back there, leading her into the pack to her team. So She's... that way they can create a fantastic wall. And now Mel Malice is free! Free Mel Malice on the jam. Without Nikki being right on her heels from the Deadly Pains. Black Mama goes down. And Mel calls it off before Nikki can score points. Good communication by the Sheilas in the pack with that fantastic call off before Nikki and can really, make it in and score points. It's all about communication. 69 to 34, 35 point lead, 16 12 to play. Penalty boxes are empty. The Sheilas have really spread that gap tonight. They've done a fantastic job with their points. Great communication, great walls. Great teamwork by the Sheilas. It is probably hard to overstate the advantage of them being a complete team against a mashed together team 100%. in the communication tonight. 100%. Although that's part of it. Electrocute jamming. T-Bone Trina about to break through, being held back by Myers. Buster bridging. T-Bone forced out of bounds and has to wait while Electrocute works behind Pebbles. T-Bone Force all the way back to the back. Big fight through that pack for both jammers. And Electrocute, However, after Bacon all that time. Calling. Electrocute, lead jammer for the Sheilas. Pivot turn made by the Deadly Pains. Mel breakdown. Can Electrocute call it off before Mel scores? No, she cannot. The jab must continue. Nice job by the Deadly Pains. Let's give it up for them, putting points on the board for this second half. Great work by Mel Breakdown there. Fighting Fantastic through. Job. That just shows you that you can never give up because you never know when the communication is going to fail and somebody could come through and definitely score some points there, Bacon. That's the reason you never give up, just in case someone else's communication breaks down. And we have a timeout. An official timeout. We will get news of what this is 
Probably. In the meantime, what else is happening? guys while we're doing this ref huddle in the middle before they communicate with us do not forget about the after party tonight directly after this game at saints bar and patio or something i don't know we're just making stuff up over here but don't forget about the after party great time great food good beer the last time we were here there was a tornado going on so the after party i believe was uh was not a success. It was unpleasant. But there's season. nothing like risking death to party. And here comes the official. Penalty. All right. So much like last time, the, the call off was not regulation. So she will get the point, but also the penalty. You must be upright and on the track to call off and if, the gym. There's nothing harder than being upright while skating. That's the hardest thing of all. For all of our new friends out there, you must be upright and on the track to call off the jam. You also have to be upright to announce the jam. That's one of the rules. Because I tried to do this from a hammock once, and they told me it was not appropriate. We're, we're barely making it through up here. Uh, we're not Fantastic making it through at all. Fantastic game right now. Rampage against Mel Malice. Mel Malice taking over Lee Jabba for the Sheilas. Tax has broken out as that point score for your deadly pains right on Mel Malice's heels. Time very much on the side of the Sheilas. Did Mel call it off in time to deny Taxinator her point? Let's find out. When we return. Looks like we're going to get a new Nikki jammer here by the Sheilas tonight. Both jammers are new. I believe this will be Nikki Necrosis's first jam. It looks like both teams are making drastic changes to give some rest for their point scores. Well, they need to get ready for the big finish, I believe is how that works. So that's Park and Rec. Park and wreck. I don't know which one of those words is in all caps. Nikki Necros is fighting her way through as Jamie DeVito's on the pivot with Anita Hurtcha. No one in scoring position as of yet. Fantastic strategy by both teams by putting new point scores out there. Yeah. However, it looks like we have Lee Jammer for the Sheilas. Park and wreck. Jamie right behind her. But Jamie's been doing a lot of work as the pivot. So maybe having a fresh jammer has been the way to go. 100%. Nice job by Park and Rec. Score some points and call it off for your Sheilas. One point. 35 76. As we are just about halfway through. Wait, is it 30 minutes or 20 minutes? 30. Help me. Help 30, me. 30, 30. 30. We're way more. We're two thirds of the way through. Don't forget, your travel team is out there selling ducks <laughs> for Chuck a Duck. Probably one of the funnest halftime deals of the season. So make sure you pick up those ducks from one of your travel team members. Pay those bills. Dopamine. So, in the spirit of the Sheila sending out new jammers, Dopamine, I believe that's her first jam. T Bone Trina, not her first jam. Pebbles on the pivot for the Deadly Pains. Mel and Malice forcing JB all the way to the back. But it doesn't matter because T-Bone Trina, lead jammer for the Deadly Pains. Black Mamba finally through. Black Mamba on the pivot turn. Can T-Bone Trina take bites out of the lead? Very slow pack up front, big brace by Mel as Simone enters the pack and calls it off. Fantastic work by both teams. One point. One point. 
So 76-36. Every point counts, though. That's what I've been told. Every point definitely counts there, Bacon. The Sheilas have definitely blown this second half open with lots of points on the board. However, it's not over. Because do we have some Deadly Pains fans here in the building? That is absolute trash. Do we have some Deadly Pains <laughs> fans in the building? There we go. In some circles, that's abuse. <laughs> Mayhem Myers, Lee Jammer, but sh no, going to the box. Mayhem, I'm sorry, Myers, regular Myers. Regular, Regular Myers going Myers to the box. the box. And the Sheila's pivot takes a spill. Still no one in scoring position. Myers in the box. Everybody wave. Baby Buster recycles. Both her glass and her trash. Ask me how I know. It's eight minutes to play. Great defense by both teams. Sheila's doing a fantastic job. I mean, any, attempting to get Myers out of the box. Any jam where no one scores over two minutes is a win for the Sheila's. Buster attempting to get that cut. However, it was not called. Nikki with a big hit to the outside. However, that doesn't stop Myers from coming out of the box, getting through the back, and getting lead jammer. Sending her to the penalty box just angers her. It's... Great fight by Myers. It's never over until those whistles are called. Fantastic work by Myers and Nikki. Myers over there waving her hand like I can actually see something there. Bacon. I, it was sign language. I, I think the first letter was F, but I'm not sure how the rest of it worked out. Electrocute on the line against Jammy DeVito, who could probably use a break. Mamba and Nikki up front as your pivots. Big fight in the back. That's Electrocute with a big block from Black Mamba. Lee Jammer Electrocute for the Sheilas. Dizzy Astor doing a fantastic job with the containment on Mamba. With no one eligible to score for the Deadly Pains, this is going to be... Jimmy is out as your point scorer for the Deadly Pains. And is Electrocute going to the box? Either that or she's skating around the outside for Thunder no sends. reason. Electrocute to the box for a back block. Ooh, big spill. And a back block called on Jammy DeVito. Jammy is also heading to the box there, for a back block for the Deadly There are no pains. jammers, so nothing will happen. And the jam's called off. Saving us all 45 seconds of nonsense. Here. It's uh, 77.36. So five and a half minutes to play. Five and a half minutes to play. Five and a half more minutes of our voices that a, you have to pay A lifetime through. of glory to be earned from the third place game at 2024 Fountain City Championship Saturday. Jalapeno Business, her first jam of the evening. And fresh Jamie, legs. definitely a force competitor. And gets Lee Jammer for the Deadly Pains. Loving every minute of it. Anita Hercha hunting from the pivot turn. Big spill, JB in. And the call off. Nice work by JB from the Deadly Pains. One point. 77-37, 40 point lead, four and a half to go. Definitely gonna have to give credit to Anita there to force that call. Very hard, very fast work from her coming from the back. Once nice she job. takes the turn, she just takes off. 
And we have an official review. I wonder if someone called it off accidentally for a third time. What do you think? I would say there's going to be a good argument for that. They can officially review other things, yes? No? Just, just a legal call-off? Is that as far as it goes? You can official review whatever you want. Oh, I love it. I have some official reviews I would like to undertake. I think they should officially review our fantastic announcing. And oh, hopefully oh, yeah. we get invited back no, next year. Yeah, they'll review that all right. It's <laughs> really top-notch work. Mel Malice jamming against T-Bone Trina. So Mel's had a little bit of a break. And it shows because she is flying around the outside. Takes over lead. Both T-Bone with the sneak around <laughs> from the Deadly Pains. For that point scoring position, she's going to fight all the way but to force that call off. We're under, Mouse. we're just over three minutes. And Mel calls it off. Big fight for T-Bone, but to no avail. The Sheila's doubling the score of the Deadly Pains. Miracles are possible. They're possible, but not I by suppose. This. There's not a lot of time <laughs> left. There's spread. not a lot of time left. Too good of teamwork between the Sheilas. The Deadly Pains have definitely put in great work. You can definitely tell they've been doing some scrimmaging together. I'm pretty impressed. A slow burn, as they say. Cherry Violence hitting the deck for some reason. No one in scoring position. Ginger Ninja pushing Nikki Necrosis out of bounds. Sheila's really just running out the clock here. 100%. And it looks like we've got lead jammer for the Sheila's. Beck's definitely hot on her heels. Nice call off. Put some points up there on the board once again for the Sheila's. Well, we're under a minute and a half to play here. I don't expect any strategy to change here from the Deadly Pains. Again, great teamwork, great fight. Coaches have done a great job over there keeping their team together. But you can't underestimate the Sheilas with their great walls. Sheilas played great defense all night. Here we are, Mel Malice jamming against Jalapeno Business. As we get closer to the end, JB with the big juke from the outside to inside. Big whiff from Ashila. We are under a minute to play. However, you have once again Lee Jammer for the Sheilas. Do we have Sheilas fans in attendance tonight? One Sheila fan loving every minute of this. Nice call up, but. Fantastic work by your deadly pains. <laughs> Counting it down. Ginger Ninja taking a stab at the jam line against Rampage. The penalty box is clear. Their eyes are bright. The Sheilas will bring it home. Sheilas fans, let's hear your appreciation. Ginger Ninja hearing it from the crowd, but unceremoniously dropped by Dottie Disaster. We are at the end. This will be the final jam. As the play clock has run out. Once again, a big wall up there in the front by your Silas. And leave it to the end for one last collision. Big spill over there in your last jam. That's gem annihilation. However, it looks like we do have lead jammer 
for the deadly pains! At this point, point differential does not matter to the final standings, yes? Not at all. All right. Well, in that case, 35 seconds maximum. And she calls it off, and that'll do it. That'll do it for your third place game unofficially. The Sheila sang it home. The bronze medal for roller skate goes to the Sheila's. And with that, we will sign off. Once again, Bagan, fantastic work tonight. Thanks, buddy. But I'm going to go coach and You go coach. Win. I will uh, fade into the night. Thank you, Twitch viewers. Good night. Actual Moose here. Um, I'm here with Jalapeno Business, who skated in the last game. Um, how do you think it went? Um, it went great. I had a blast. We all played great, played fair. They won. It is what it is. <laughs> but it sounds like good derby. Oh, always. Excellent. Always. And uh, you're going to be announcing for us uh, yes. in the next game. Yes, yes, yes. Putting all my little pizzazz in there, you know. <laughs> Doing me. <laughs> do you have any uh, any predictions, Any uh, anything you want to see out there? I want the lethals to win, <laughs> but I can't be biased right now. Well, but of course you're going to announce anyway. unbiased. Correct. Okay. So, okay. yes. <laughs> but that's what I want. <laughs> All right. Well, I know you're going to make the stream fun for everybody. Absolutely. And um, thank you. Thank you.